Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop, 10 more minutes, son of chief building action, that's a drama baby, it's a little fire, <laughs> it's a little fire, a little over passion, that's not bad, <laughs> okay, I got my part and plays made, got to use that new tape saw. Now look at that angle cut I had to cut. That was perfect, man. That was like, it was like it wasn't even cut nothing. It's been so long since I used a good table saw. Wow. Thanks, John, man. You're the man. <laughs> okay. Now, we need you guys' help, okay? You know we let you guys get involved where we can. You know, I'm going to give you guys something to do on this blizzardy week. <laughs> okay? You guys, we're going to let you guys pick the paint job. Alright? Every one of you guys out there watching can have some input. Every one of you. We want every one of you's idea. Okay? You can go to our website. So I was going to put a link on the one main page. Pick the paint job. You guys can submit your pictures. Then underneath the pictures, there's going to be where all you guys vote on them. Okay? The one that gets the most point or uh, most votes, votes, I have no choice but to paint it that way. So, uh, I'm going to give you, I'm going to have to send in a picture of this. I like this paint job, okay? This is my boat. Right here. The one on this box. It's kind of dusty. That is my paint job. That gets my vote. See, it even shows some weathering on there. Yeah, I'm going to weather it all up, people. I ain't going to paint it till we get back from Phoenix. My goal is to have it all ready for paint by Phoenix, which is in a week. And uh, we'll paint it when we get back. But there it is. Kind of a schematic on it. It's got a three, two tones of green, uh, brown, light gray on the bottom. My initials on the tail. <laughs> no nose art. Or, ah, got it. A lot of these 105s, they put the nose art on the duct. Okay, and there's a little bit back there. So now it's nothing, pretty simple. Looks like some kills. Uh, just plain, real plain. Just a star on the top. Not a lot there. I kind of like that. Plain and simple. Just out there. Bombs and targets, maybe. Take out a couple MIGs on the way, baby. But that's my vote. And you guys can submit your pictures. It's a good wow. Some big old feet. There it is. Coming in for landing. I can't wait. <laughs> but you guys get on that computer and dig up some pictures. Some 105 pictures. I don't care if it's the one your father flew. The one your uncle flew. Uh, just one you like. I got a picture of. Tom Flynn. Uh, come on, man. Come up with some pictures. And uh, we'll let all you guys vote on it. The winner, the one that submits the winning picture, might be a little surprise for you. Okay? I ain't thought of nothing yet, but leave me to my thoughts. I'll think of something good. <laughs> It'll be a good one. It'll be a good one. So that's to give y'all something to do in this dang blizzard. Alright? But John's going to, I'm going to talk to him just a little bit ago. He's going to make us up a page and get it all fixed up. So go to our website, b1modelproject.com, and uh, it's all going to be done from there. Just like we did with, uh, with uh, a flight number video, you know. 
which by the way, you guys that picked in the low 400s, <laughs> your chance just clicked away, boy. That's alright. We're going to have some more contests to get you guys involved. Give you something to do. Let's have some fun, dang it. Let's keep it clean. And, uh, have some fun. Except for the nose art. Nothing wrong with showing a little boobies, something like that. <laughs> you know, that that's... That's legal in the shop. I don't see nothing wrong with that. As long as it's nose art and done tastefully. Then it's considered art. So. Let's have some fun and see what some pictures you guys can. I know a lot, a lot of these. Uh, Thunder Chiefs were pretty plain. I do like the Thunderbird version. It's got some good pictures of it in this uh, book I got. It's either the Squadron Signals or the Walk Around. One Paul left me. It's got some good pictures of the Thunderbird. That does look tough, but I'd rather do a camo. You know, coming back from a scraping mission. You know, just dang near getting blasted by some Sams and coming home. That's what I, that's my vote right there. But, my vote ain't gonna count in this, it's just one. And, uh, let's keep it, let's keep it fair, just one vote per person. And, uh, keep it fair. Bam, I'm about ready to start slapping some uh, resin on that bad boy. Oh, we still got two minutes left. Well, I thought it was over for sure. But I've seen some good ones. Some good, cool paint jobs. But I'll get really into the detail on painting this, people, and really show you guys everything I know about painting an airplane. I've painted a lot of airplanes, people. I've painted a lot. More than just your average Joe that builds for itself, because uh, I've painted a lot of, for other people. I've, you know, built planes and painted them for other people. A lot. <laughs> That's how I paid for my modeling, man. I was, you know, when them kids were little, we didn't have a lot of money. I only had, usually had one airplane flying at a time. You know, then I'd, so I'd do something for someone, I'd get a little cash and maybe sell an airplane, you know, and get me a new one. I'd fly an airplane two or three years and sell it. I did that a lot. shop he taught me more about painting even though man if you if you take your airplane to a guy that just paints nothing but cars never painted the model <laughs> if they go away a ton don't ever cut melon loose like that because them car guys man they lay that paint on they have no conception of keeping up making a light paint job you know and uh, even their primer and stuff. John was, was uh, helping me and do that GB and stuff. And they just, they have no conception of, uh, don't take this wrong, you know. They're, they're doing what they do best and they're good at it, which is a car paint job. It was just uh, 